Stay fresh. Stay fresh. Stay fresh. Yo, so how's it going guys? Welcome back to another GTA 5 video. So as I'm sure you guys are aware, recently I did show you guys an epic money maker method that would allow you guys to spawn in an unlimited amount of modified Sand King XLs, which a ton of you guys going off the feedback really seem to enjoy now whilst that method was really good to be earning some very fast and easy cash you was limited to only spawning them in between 9 a.m and 5 p.m however i have got a new method that will allow you guys to spawn these sand kings in as much as you want at whatever time of day you want so there is literally no cap or no limit on how many sand kings you guys can spawn in so if you own 10 garages you can literally store 10 full garages of these modified sand kings and sell them whenever you like now I will say if you guys aren't aware I did only upload a video last night showing you guys three of some of the best methods you can grind out which are different from this method so if you guys are looking for another method that you can grind out whilst selling these sand kings I will leave a link to that video down low in the description however as always if this video does help you guys out in any way shape or form and you would like to see me cover more epic money and RP guides in the future all I ask is to drop a like down below and feel free to subscribe as I do post daily GTA 5 videos without further Without further ado, let's get into the video. Now the best thing about this method is it's extremely easy, it works on all consoles and it's legit. Yes, this will not get you banned, this is not a GTA 5 money glitch. Even though these cars are duplicates of each other, they are actually NPC duplicates. It's not a glitch where you're duplicating cars, you're simply robbing the cars, storing them and then selling them to make some good easy cash. Now if you guys do use money glitches a lot, then you might want to watch this video right to the end as I've got some really important information that I want to share with you guys if you do use money glitches as this information may prevent you from getting banned in the future. Okay, so I'm going to do this method straight from scratch, literally as if I was just doing it right from the start. So the first thing you guys want to do is be in an online session, invite only, public, it doesn't make a difference. So you want to go to this website, Southern San Andreas Motors, and then you want to go ahead and look for the Sand King XL. It should be listed for about $45,000. Don't worry, that is practically pennies and cents what you guys will be making back from this method. I am actually going to be showing you guys a bit of an improved method on using this from my previous video as I have got a new way that will save you guys even more time. So as you guys can see on screen, I ordered my Vapid Sand King XL in black. Now a good little tip here is to order it at a garage that you're not going to be storing the other ones in because you want to have as many blank spaces as possible in the garage you want to store the duplicate versions in. So as you boys can see, I ordered this one at my Wild Oats apartment because I want to store all of the new Sand Kings in my Del Piero apartment. Uh, this will make more sense later on in the video. However, as you guys can see, now I've moved over to my Del Piero apartment. Once you guys have got your Sand King delivered to your other garage, you want to press start, go across the online, go down to job, select play job, go down to Rockstar created, and then you want to start the mission called Time to Get Away. This mission is from Martin and you unlock it at rank 21. So if you guys haven't got it unlocked yet, try and do a few missions for Martin that haven't got a little tick next to it. Simply give him a call and request a few jobs. If that doesn't work, use the comment section down below in this video, help each other out, leave your console or your gamer tag, and I'm pretty sure you guys will be able to find another player. As this does work solo, I'm doing it solo in this video to prove it works solo, but you can do it with a friend and both get Sand Kings for yourself, as it is only a two player mission. So once you guys have started the mission, as you boys can see, time to get away. You want to exit the apartment that you spawn in and then simply call up the Sand King XL that you just ordered. Now I'm actually going to show you gameplay here of me calling my mechanic and ordering the exact Sand King that I literally only ordered five minutes ago. If you guys remember, it's from my Wild Oats apartment. Go down to the bottom and as you boys can see, Sand King XL. Now the reason why I'm showing you this part is because I saw a few comments on my previous video saying... Do I have to mod it? I'm not getting it to spawn in. You literally don't have to do anything to your Sand King XL. You can just get the bog standard normal one that you buy off the website. Don't take it over to any LS Customs. As you boys can see on screen, here's the Sand King I just ordered in black, if you guys remember. No rims, no exhaust, no spoiler or anything. So once you guys get in your Sand King, you want to press pause. You want to head down the left side of the highway on the map. And you want to go to this very location. It's just before the bridge, right near the military base. I'm pretty sure most of you guys would have visited this area before. Okay, so as you guys can see on screen, I'm approaching the area that you need to go to. Now, this is an important part of getting it to spawn in. When you pass that little bridge I just passed, slow down your acceleration as I do on screen majorly. 
pummel in 200 miles an hour that won't spawn it in you need to go slowly so as you boys can see in the distance it will give the game time to spawn the sand king in now as you guys can see i've got the blue version this time from here all you guys want to do is park up in front of it jump out your sand king and then jump straight into this sand king now from here you guys can drive this sand king into any of your garages and it will be yours to keep or sell at a later date now i know a lot of you guys may not know where your apartments actually are and you can't hit quick gps during a contact mission so a little tip i'm going to give you guys how to find your apartment is simply pull up your mobile phone go to the property website and then simply find an apartment that you own currently click on it and then select get directions so as you boys can see on screen i'm looking to go to del piero i find del piero on the website click on it select get directions and now you boys can see i've got a gps leading straight to my garage as i'm aware not all of you guys may not know the gta 5 map that well so this should help you out now like i did mention i'm going to show you guys an updated tip on how to improve this method and do it even faster than previous however before i do so i just want to prove to you guys that this is working after the latest patches so you guys remember i did start this up in del piero with and I'm driving back to Del Piero now and I drive this Sand King back into the exact same garage and you boys will see I still have the DLC cars there as well as the new modded Sand King XL and just in case you guys didn't hear right at the start of the video this does work on every console and PC after the latest patches so as you boys can see I did have an empty garage here only with the DLC cars right here and now I've got a modded Sand King XL which I'm going to be selling at a later date so if you guys remember the old method it used to be a bit long because you'd have to go over get in a random car and then call your mechanic get him to deliver you your sand king xl again however like i did mention i'm going to be showing you guys a way around this and how you guys can just keep getting it to spawn in with any random car off the street which will save you guys a bunch of time in the long run so as you guys can see on screen now i'm doing it the old way by stopping just before i get to the bridge calling up my sand king xl again and then driving in however i just want to show you guys this time if you guys didn't see in my previous video there is two different versions of this car that you can get one being the blue version that i just got and this other version that you can get is the yellow version now a bit of an easter egg that i've clocked onto since recording that video i'm sure you guys have heard of rockstar games they're the company who actually make gta 5 now rockstar games have got another company called rockstar games north which is based in scotland united kingdom now two of these companies rockstar games and rockstar north they have exactly the same logo just like the sand kings are exactly the same however their logos have got two very different colors rockstar games of course i'm pretty sure you've seen their logo around it's a very distinct yellow and then the rockstar north have got a blue logo i find this a bit of a coincidence that two of these cars are blue and yellow as i did mention earlier these are rockstar spawned vehicles you are not doing an exploit by doing this method this is not a glitch so you won't have to worry about getting banned for 20 years or 200 years however i just wanted to show you guys now that you can also store this yellow one just in case they get some random i always get random questions in the comment section like oh, i could store the blue but i can't store the yellow just complete random bullshit so just as you boys can see now i've got a blue one and the yellow one i'm going to go ahead and show you guys the updated little trick that i use to spawn this car in with any vehicle so as soon as you guys drive to the location where it spawns in you basically want to park up your sand king on this bridge say about 200 300 meters away from that turning that you can see behind me if you guys are looking on the road you can see this line almost on the road that's a perfect spot that's almost an indication that rockstar put it there as if you put your sand king there then you'll just get them to spawn in randomly saving you guys a bunch of time for calling your mechanic every time getting them to deliver a swap cars this way it's just very straightforward and swift so as you boys can see on screen now jump in a completely random coupe take it back to the bridge where i came from you don't have to go too far back around this distance should do and then simply do that slow drive off that i showed you guys at the start it's very important you guys don't drive this part too fast because you do have to give the game a little bit of time to spawn the car in and you will see it spawning in the distance so as you boys can see on screen now just hitting that casual 15 miles an hour this works with any type of car coupe hummer however if you guys are watching in the distance you'll notice that i've spawned in the new sand king xl just follow and repeat the process jump out of the car take it back to your garage and store it and as you guys can see on the right side i've still got my sand king parked up exactly where i showed you guys now just to prove to you guys that that was no fluke this new little updated trick that i use does work every time with any car as you boys can see now i'm in a different car and 
and this time a yellow one spawns in. Now, like I did mention earlier, funny enough, there is a line exactly where I parked my Sand King XL on the road. So I'm going to show you guys this quickly, just some more details so you know exactly where I park. So as you boys can see, I'm aiming at it on the road. This very distinct looking line. Just look out for that line, park your Sand King up and get paid boys. So once you guys have stored as many Sand Kings as you like in as many garages as you want, you can literally have five garages full of 10 of these cars each. I did also forget to mention that there is actually a 10 car garage located right next to the Sand King spawn location. So this method could be even faster. If you guys only own four garages, go ahead and buy that one, the fifth one, as a little investment because you guys will definitely be making it back using this method however once you guys have got as many sand kings as you like stored in your garage you can go ahead and complete the mission it's a pretty good paying mission you get over 24k i believe solo however you can just do what i do here press start go to online and click find new session even if you do both ways you will still always have these cars stored in your garage so as you guys can see as soon as i spawn in my brand new session i'm back in the garage with a bunch of sand king xls that all I have to do from now is take over to LS Customs and sell. Now you guys that know about GTA 5 will know that this car is one of the highest selling NPC cars that you can find in GTA 5. This yellow version sells for a nice 17.5k and if you guys go ahead and sell the blue version you get even more money which will back you guys a nice 18.5k. So if you guys want to do some really quick maths and store 10 of these in your 10 car garage you'll be earning an insane 185k per garage that you do this with. When you take everything into consideration how easy this is you don't have to waste no ammo it's literally just a two minute drive to go and collect the sand king and sell it so it's definitely a great method just to do in between actually playing the game naturally like i said you're losing nothing from storing these cars and if you guys are regular gta 5 players this will just always consistently be bringing in cash this is the new way of making money on gta 5 you have to have about two or three different hustles going on at the same time so if you guys are banging out heists or missions go and sell a sand king and you guys will see it piling up very quickly so there we go guys an insane legit money making method that any of you guys will be able to do straight away working on all consoles after all the latest patches if you guys have enjoyed this video and want to see me post more money making guides in the future all i ask is you drop a like down below as it shows you guys do support the channel also feel free to subscribe as i do post daily gta 5 videos i've been your host laser gaming thanks a lot for watching go get paid